what is going on guys welcome back to another overemployment video another day you're not overemployed is another dollar down the drain so check out the master class in the pinned comment below in today's video we'll be discussing the red flags and green flags to consider when evaluating job descriptions these flags are based on job descriptions i came across recently so yeah let's get started the first red flag is when a job description emphasizes a team first philosophy or mentions a highly collaborative team oriented environment while collaboration is important too much emphasis on teamwork might lead to excessive meetings and unclear personal boundaries, which can be challenging for those with multiple remote jobs at the same time. Red flag number two is when a job description states that you'll be working with fellow engineers around the world or requires you to participate in code reviews and agile power of three discovery and design discussions. These requirements often imply extensive coordination across different time zones and an increased number of meetings, which may not be ideal for those seeking an overemployment friendly setup. Always remember if a job description includes phrases like collaborate closely with or participate in and provide meaningful feedback about, it suggests a role that involves frequent meetings or discussions which may not align with an overemployment lifestyle. Now let's jump in. On the other hand, let's explore the green flags that indicate a job might be well suited for an overemployment lifestyle. Always look for job descriptions that mention qualities like being a self-motivated individual or someone who works well with little direction. These traits indicate that the company values employees who can work independently, giving you the freedom and flexibility to manage multiple jobs effectively. If they want you to be self-reliant, the chances are that you will have less meetings, less time talking to your peers or team members around the company. This gives you more time to focus on both jobs and getting it done in less than eight hours a day. Another green flag is the ability to communicate and collaborate efficiently. This implies that the company prioritizes clear and concise communication, often relying on written forms like emails instead of unnecessary meetings. Such an environment can be a great fit for someone seeking an overemployment friendly work arrangement. Additionally, phrases like self-driven and able to work independently or you're a self-starter who takes initiative are all positive signs that the company values autonomy and trusts its employees to manage their workload effectively. Remember, it's important to be mindful that companies that excessively emphasize the term agile or delve into excessive details into their agile processes. This often translates into a significant number of standout meetings and discussions. While most companies mention collaboration and being a team player, be cautious of job descriptions that specifically highlight a close-knit team or a highly collaborative environment, as they may involve more meetings than usual and potentially unclear personal boundaries. To sum this whole video up, while looking for overemployment-friendly jobs, focus on job descriptions that highlight qualities like self-motivation, independence, efficient communication, and a culture that values clear and concise interactions. And that's all it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content.